Hey there, viewers, and welcome back to a Tech Tip Tuesday, a five-minute Tech Tip Tuesday here on something probably other than a Tuesday. I think it's Wednesday. Either way, the purpose of this video involves the Microsoft Click to Run client and a glitch that I don't know if they'll ever fix or not. So my issue is with all the work at home, the quarantine and things like that, um, my hotspot data has become rather precious. So uh, naturally when Windows 10 debuted, it had a feature called uh, metered connection and it kind of shuts off the background uh, updating and stuff that kind of consumes bandwidth in a short gist of things <laughs> to kind of stretch your little 15 gigabyte hotspot allowance just that little bit further. So um, the issue actually comes in if you look at my task manager here, this is a fresh restart. And uh, we can go down here to performance. I've had the machine running for 12 minutes at this point in time. But you can see 28% of my CPU is being sucked up by something, okay? So if I go into processes and we click CPU, you can see this Microsoft click to run. And when you go to the forums, a lot of folks are like, well, just disable the service. You can you know, go into MS config or what have you and actually disable the service so it doesn't start. Well, that's fine, it does fix the problem, except at that point you can't launch any Microsoft applications. So no PowerPoint, Word, Excel. So here I am doing my syllabus for my classes next year and it's like, dude, I can feel it. The computer is definitely slowing down. So I did come up with a workaround. Um, it's not a fix, so to say but uh, it should get you back in business. So I'm just gonna leave this guy sucking about 25% of my CPU. We're gonna make the problem worse here when you check my screen. I'm just opening up Microsoft Word at this point. So you can see now 1.1 and that's gonna gradually creep up to about 20%. So just sitting here with Word open, 50% of my CPU cycles are being consumed by these two applications. So you must have the click to run operational in order to use the Microsoft products. So here is the actual fix. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and close Word. Um, I'm gonna try to end the task. It usually just restarts. Uh, Word likes to keep running too in the background. First, I thought this might be a spyware type of issue but um, of course everything comes up clean. So what you need to do is go into your settings applet and then we're gonna go network and internet and then because I'm on this connection currently, we're gonna change our connection properties and we're gonna turn off this metered connection, okay? So at this point, we'll go back, relaunch Word, we'll pop the task manager open. You can see my click to run is gonna suck some CPU for a while. Word is gonna do the exact same thing. And you're like, well, it didn't fix anything. So what I think it's trying to do, it's trying to phone home to Microsoft and it's not having any luck. So I'm gonna end that task on click to run, hopefully, and then it should auto start up again because it's really a service. And you'll see it's gonna be way, 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 way down. You notice my CPU is down, everything is looking good. Let's just close everything out. Let's do it one more time so that everything can kind of freshly start. But I don't know that this is ever gonna get fixed, but if you turn off your metered data plan, if you will, uh, you notice that delayed start as it's uh, waiting on, there's some dependencies on that service. Uh, before Word can start. So right now, you notice my click to run, 0%, 0.1%. My Microsoft Office is what 0% CPU. And this will be a nice, you know, constant theme if you leave that metered connection option disabled. So uh, what's using the most CPU? <laughs> OBS, 3.2%. <laughs> Anyway, hopefully that helps you out. Give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment in the box below if you know of a better workaround or fix, an actual fix for this. Um, aside from what I've shown you here, I would greatly appreciate it. Hopefully this helps you to make your machine run a little bit faster. So with that being said, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.